To create a custom color palette for your Live Designer website, what you'll need to do is first log into your website, the back end, and at admin.actiondesigneronline.com. At that point, when you log in, you'll go over here under configuration and select the color palette tool. You'll simply at this point just need to select whether the color palette is going to be for embroidery or printing, and then create a new palette. So the first thing I'll do is create a new palette. We'll call it custom palette. We'll make this my default palette, and then we're going to create a name. So we'll do, we'll do red. Now, you have to find the RGB value. So if you're working in Pantone colors, what you can do is go to this website right here, goffgrafix.com, to search for Pantone colors converted into RGB. So if I need to find a red RGB color, but I know my Pantone color is 485, I'll go to the 400s, find Pantone 485, and I'll change my Pantone colors to whatever's needed. So going back to here under RGB value, I'll click the little color wheel and type in the RGB value to 16, 30, 5. Okay, add color. Now we've got Pantone 485. Now you can even call this red 485. So that way, when a customer selects that color, you know the exact Pantone color when it's the order or quote's been submitted. So again, one more time, let's do another color. Let's do this um, Pantone 408. Looks like a, a gray color. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my website and type in gray and the name of the Pantone color which is 408 and then I'm going to click on the color wheel and type in the RGB value which is 168, 153, 140 168, 153, 140 okay add color and then we're good to go. Once you're done, you'll make to make sure you have a default color. Hit save. And now you have your own custom palette. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at marth, that's A-R-T-H, at actionillustrated.com. Thank you.